Hello guys, welcome back to the Domain Racer. And this video is all about VPS hosting. And in this video, I am going to cover the topic called as how you choose the VPS. Second, what are the types of VPS? Do you need managed versus unmanaged VPS? Or how do you buy the VPS? Because the mostly people knows what to buy, but while purchasing, they are having some questions. So in this video, we are going to answer all of the questions in a very fraction of time. Before moving further, we would like to share you one thing. We as a domain register offering free of cost SEO tool to all of our customers. So if you are a direct customer of domain register, so you can able to claim a free SEO tool with your service. One more thing, if you need any problem solution, then you can able to search in our domain register search engine, search.domainracer.com. The problems we have almost 80% covered in this. So you just have to search your problem and you will get the video solution on this. If it is not available, just comment below. We will create a new video for you. So you can able to get the answers and you can easily purchase for VPS hosting. So now the very first question, how to choose a VPS hosting? The basically VPS are of three types. First one is Linux based VPS. So in that there are various OS comes like Ubuntu, Fedora, CentOS OS. So these are the few examples. Now the second type is Windows VPS. And in that we can get the Windows operating system and you can able to take the remote of your server that you can say RDP connection. Now the third type is storage VPS. So that helps you for the storage. Here there are mainly three types, right? Don't be confused with these three options because it is totally depend on your project or a website or a business requirements. So don't be confused. It is very clear that VPS are of three types. And in that when you want the e-commerce website, WordPress website, a business launching Node.js or any kind of applications that needs the root of the server and you can able to fire the commands and you can able to launch your application that time you need a Linux based VPS. So in this case, if you purchase a Windows, that also be fine, but it is the best option to buy Linux based VPS hosting. Now we will move towards the second option is Windows VPS hosting. We have seen that the common mistakes always people do is people clearly want a Windows operating system and they purchasing a Linux VPS hosting. So this is a wrong this is the biggest mistake the people are doing while purchasing the VPS hosting if they need a Windows server. Here the people visit the website and check the comparison between Linux and Windows and they buy the Linux. But they want actually a Windows one. Why? Because they got the price difference. And here the price difference is only because of Windows license. It is not a free. So please never purchase a Linux VPS hosting if you want a Windows one. Why we need a Windows? There are many reasons. Suppose example if you are doing a forex trading. So in this case you need a Windows VPS. If you wanted to test some applications that you cannot able to test on a local machine. So that time also you can able to buy Windows VPS. If you wanted to run ASP.NET application or if you wanted to run a Java based application. So that time also you can able to purchase a Windows VPS. So these are the common reasons why you need to purchase a Windows VPS. So never, never purchase a Linux based VPS if you need Windows 1 because both are different. So don't be confused and mostly what happens whenever you purchase a VPS. So these are unmanaged one. So Again, I'm repeating these are unmanaged one. So do you want to know what is the difference between managed versus unmanaged? The link is given in the description. So you can able to watch that video and clear your doubts. Now the third one is a storage VPS. The storage VPS name itself says that it used for only a storage or a backup purpose or you just want a second copy of your server. So that time you can able to use the storage VPS. So please make sure that never purchase a storage VPS for your production means if you're launching an e-commerce website never launch on storage server because storage server hardwares are very slow because they are used for the storage so in this case you can able to say that if you want one TB of storage it might get at around 10 20 dollars 
so that is extremely cheaper cost in the market so that time you always has to make sure whenever you are purchasing the storage vps so never never ever use the live website on this because mostly whenever we use the servers so we need to take the backup and the backup we cannot able to take on a local machine or we we cannot able to do manually so in this case the role comes here is a storage vps so you can able to configure your storage server with your live application so every time your data will be backup on storage vps so why vps because if you purchase a dedicated server you need to pay almost 10 times but with the vps you can able to save a lot of money so this is what the difference between all of these three platforms now the question the most people always ask how to purchase a vps so you might be thinking that i will show you the steps yes right but here the people while purchasing have two three questions that we are going to cover in just a minute let me show you these are the some examples of the plan let's say i want to purchase this plan i will click on this once i click on this now the actual two questions the people always have scroll down and they never know what they have to enter in the host name what they have to enter into ns1 ns2 the basically you do not have to worry anything about these two settings basically here you do not have to worry about all these options because these are just for the confirmation for the web hosting provider so if it is unmanaged one so you just enter your domain name in this case let's say my domain name is abc.domainresult password you can able to enter anything that you might be thinking a secure and now the question comes what i will enter into ns1 and ns2 the people always ask the service provider that if i enter here ns1 what happen what i have to enter if i don't know how to configure it the questions are not relevant at all you just have to enter here ns1 and ns2 why the reason is very simple you are purchasing a vps server so in this case you will get a root of the server right means you will get the ip address you will get the root username you will get a root password so once you have all of this three you never need to depend on this system once you have all of these three options you never need to be depend on web hosting provider because you have a now full control of your own server so you can able to change host name any time uh, so here you have the root of the server so it means you can able to change host name you can change your dns you can change your name server you can able to create a predefined you can able to create prefix anything you can able to create from your vps so these entries are only for the validation to a service provider so never worry about this directly purchase get the root access and start building your web based applications so now if you have any queries we are available 24 by 7 just comment below or you can able to chat with our agents and we are happy to see you again thank you so much